What's up guys, it's me, it's me, it's the HT, Hispanic Tango here for another episode of Pokemon X and Y. Now last episode we made through, or we made our way through the bottom part of this um, little place and we got the elevator key which we will be accessing um, here shortly. Uh, really quick, I had a couple people take some damage and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to heal them up. And I'm going to make um, Mickey Mouse my party leader. Just because he hasn't really been uh, getting the action. Tango, use the elevator key. You're darn right I did. Uh, let's go to B2. What's that? Now I don't know if this is like the final part. Um, but we were getting close to a like a 30 minute mark. And if this was long. Alright, listen. One who will face Lissandre. It's that super tall dude. I remember him. A terribly long time ago. There was a man in a Pokemon. He loved that Pokemon very much. I'm trying to see what kind of Pokemon it is. I don't even know what Pokemon it is. A uh, war began. The man's beloved Pokemon took part in the war. That's pretty basic. Come on. Something else. Alright, several years passed. He was given a tiny box. The man wanted to bring the Pokemon back no matter what it took. Alright, the band built a machine to give it life. Alright, he brought his beloved Pokemon back. I'm trying to figure out what kind of Pokemon it is. I have no idea what that Pokemon is. Alright, the man had suffered too much. His rage still had not subsided. Alright, he could not forgive the world that had hurt the Pokemon he loved. It was a flower. Who cares? He turned the machine into the ultimate weapon. Well, that looks, um, not good. Alright, the man became a bringer of destruction that ended the war. Alright, the Pokemon that was given life must have known... Uh, that the lives of many Pokemon were taken to restore its life. The resurrected, resurrected Pokemon left the man. Alright, get the key back. It should not be used. Everything will vanish again. Do you want to know unending pain like I have? That is a Z. He's the same name as a king that lived 3,000 years ago. And for some unknown reason, he had the key to the ultimate weapon hung around his neck. It's finally time. Follow me to my chambers. Alright, get the key back. It should not be used. Everything will vanish again. Do you... Okay, whatever. Alright. I guess I gotta follow Lissandre again.
B3. All right. All right, so the Pokeballs we received and the Pokemon we've gathered are where they need to be. Add it all up and it means all preparations are complete. The only thing left to do is put the plan in motion. I'm counting on you. I guess I need to stop him. One push of a, of a button, we can activate the ultimate weapon from this room. I believe being a chosen one means you have the potential to change the future. Whether we activate the ultimate weapon or leave it safely underground will rest upon if you actually have this potential or not. Oh ho ho, you're the one I've heard so much about. I've been waiting for you. I need to do a little research on you. Come let us begin. Alright, Team Flare, Zerosic. We got our Crobat, which is ironically great for Pikachu, pending nothing uh, weird happens, because it's it's bound to happen, guys. It's bound to happen. Cross poison. It, it handled the cross poison. It handled an attack, and attacked back. Question is, can he handle two attacks? Barely, but he did, and he won. He beat a Crobat, guys. He beat a Crobat. And he leveled up. In your faces, guys. Not really in your faces because you guys know that Malamar. Uh, I don't know which Pokemon is Malamar. So I'm going to bring out Donatello just in case. Donatello's pretty uh, open on moves. What Pokemon is that? Dude, I have no idea what kind of Pokemon it is. Just use a dark type move. That's fine. I'm gonna take it out in two shots. But I have no idea what kind of Pokemon that is. I'm I don't wanna know either. Dude, that that I can say that Pokemon scared me a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, guys. Alright, oh ho ho, you're wonderful. Your Pokemon are amazing. Yes, they are. Alright, wonderful, amazing. You have tremendous skill and bravery. When you add that up, it means I will tell you something very interesting. It happened 3,000 years ago. The ultimate weapon was used to put an end to the war in an instant. If we use that incredible power, we can finally free Kalos of the foolish humans that plague it. Behind me, you'll find a red button and a blue button. One of them, one of them is the button for activating the ultimate weapon. Push one now. Come on, push one. Uh, that's. I don't know which one to push. Um. This is a little bit of a predicament, guys. Ah, uh, shoot. Which one do I push? I'm kind of contemplating. Do I push the? Do I push the red one or do I push the blue one? Or do I push the blue one and not push the red one? I don't really know. Um, ah, darn it. <laughs> um, this is a... Uh, this is hard to... Uh, I don't know what to do. Okay. Honestly, I think I'm gonna look really quick and see what I need to do. I'm gonna cheat a little bit, but that's fine. I'm trying to figure out where. Okay. You the both fortunes are also had that as your own. Alright. Um 
Let's pick the blue button. Push the blue button. You pressed it. Oh, ho, ho. You pressed the blue switch. Winner, winner. Congratulations. But I'm still going to activate the ultimate weapon. I, I know the boss promised that we wouldn't if you push the correct button, but I refuse to let the potential go to waste. I'll just use my remote here. Click, click, and the power is on. Oh, so well, he was going to do it either way. It'd be cool if you had peak or if you had um, trainers actually running away. That'd be pretty neat. But that thing does look a little, uh, and by little I mean very, very deadly. Like very, very deadly. Well, that's not good. Did you see the ultimate weapon is reborn? The poisonous flower has bloomed. All shall perish except for Team Flare. Uh, look at Geosenge. It has bloomed into Geosenge Town. The boss's dream of creating a beautiful world will come true. Add it all up and it equals a victory for our science. Alright, so we're going to end the episode here. It looks like we're going to have to make a bolt over for or over to uh, Geosenge Town. So we will do that next episode. Uh, so please leave your likes, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we will see you guys next time. Peace.